last year. Yes. On my motorcycle. Yes. Hit the guardrail. Yes. Come on. I mean, if anybody knows what a guardrail is like, people lose limbs. I mean, some people don't even survive. Right. And I'm here, got all my my limbs and everything. Yeah. And then it says, for I am with thee, be not dismayed. Yes. So I have to look up dismay because I wanted to be better at like trying to explain what dismay was. I know what it meant, but I wanted to explain it better. So give me a second here.
bless the name of Jesus on yeah. this morning. This okay. afternoon, praise God. Being here, amen, being in fellowship, praise the Lord with our brothers here. We have some, our very fine brothers here that are with us. Amen. From the state of New York and Pennsylvania. Amen. 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 We want to give them some space. Amen. We'll ask the mission to come up and the mission to come up and greet the congregation in their own way. Amen. So we're gonna we're gonna yield the floor. Amen. To you. I'm gonna uh, let him introduce us. We're gonna be Bishop Quinn and Bishop Mathis. We have another elder, elder <laughs> Williams. Elder Williams with us. Someone clap your hands for them. Be well. <laughs> Genesis to 
through and through Revel, uh, revelations, all you got to know is Jesus saves. Yeah. That's pretty, that's all. Amen. So I just want to invite, uh, my name is uh, Subject Bishop Frank Quinn from the 19 States Council and the 19 Chairman uh, of Christian Ministries of the Apostolic Faith Church in, in Erie, Pennsylvania. Amen. I'm trying to get dignified on you. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I feel like praising him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Brother, I enjoyed that first word. Yeah. Hallelujah. God is good. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 I kind of marked it in my Bible because I want to go back and study it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So I'm going to, uh, uh, see, I, I'm, I'm a preacher that re preaches. <laughs> Amen. So I want to invite you from the Night Bay States Council to the Fall Conference. It's held uh, October 27th and 28th in Bethlehem Temple. And the host pastor uh, is uh, District Elder Ryan Tinsley yes. at uh, Bethlehem Temple in Monticello, New York. Yes. Amen. So all are welcome, amen, to come and be with us in fellowship. Your lovely pastor, he's going to be there. Amen. And my brother Deacon, he said he's going to be there. Amen. So everybody else is welcome. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is our senior bishop here, Bishop Ronald Baptist. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord again, everybody. And I need somebody to praise the Lord with me. Hallelujah. I'm going to make 35. 
Amen. And 36 years later, the Lord is so I'm still here. Still here. The sickness might have had a part in it, but I'm still here. I'm in trouble with you now, but I'm still here. Communications, Amen. Yes. It was a struggle to get here, Amen. But by the grace of God, we finally made it, yes. Amen. And we're so glad to see everyone here in this congregation. We're so glad to hear the great praise report of what the Lord is doing, yes. Amen. In the midst, and I'm like, I'm like Bishop Quinn, Amen. God gave us the Holy Ghost. And he gave us the Holy Ghost to get out of the walls of the church and go out and witness to our lost and dying world. Amen. That's what he gave us the Holy Ghost for. Amen. After you receive the Holy Ghost and the power that comes with it, amen, then you can come to the house and those of us who need teaching, we get the teaching from our pastors and from our leaders. Amen. But there are some of us Come on here, somebody. I said there are some of us. We don't like staying in the house all the time. We like to get out and stretch ourselves just a little bit. Come on here, somebody. And we praise God and we thank God Amen, for the gift. Because if it was me, I would have I would have fell, I would have been lost a long time ago. But I thank God for the power that we receive and the power is real. Yes. Amen. You got to stir up that gift every day of your life. Yes. Amen. Don't miss a day of stirring up the gift. That's why he gave you the anointing yes. to break the yokes in your own life and to break the yokes in other people's lives. God bless you. I'm going to start preaching. Praise the Lord, everybody. I am nobody's bishop, but I am somebody to them. And I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. I thank God for being here. I was born and raised in Rochester, New York, but now I live in Erie, Pennsylvania. And my pastor is Bishop Frank Nguyen. I thank God for being here. I'm glad he invited me. I'm glad you all have welcomed us. It's a blessing to be here. And like the deacon said, I'm not going to blow this opportunity. Uh, I drove too long, uh, battled too many cars uh, to get here and not get what I need. Uh, I think I'm not my head. When he heard that Jesus was passing by, he didn't blow his shit. He said, Jesus, I'm first David. Have mercy on me. I can't let this opportunity pass you by.
and his offering time in the house. Somebody clap your hands, give God some praise. Amen. Oh, come on, y'all do the best, man. Come on, offering time. Amen. We're going to raise an offering today. Amen. We'll have our deacons come. Yeah. So I need, praise the Lord, an offering. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I'm going to challenge everybody today. I'm going to give everybody a challenge. Praise the Lord to, amen, give at least $25. Can we say amen? Amen. I need everyone to give $25 today. He's here in the house of God. Amen. I'm going to start off with $100 today. Amen. Hallelujah. And um, the reason why we're doing this is because how many know it takes funds to do this? Amen. And if you just help us, guess what? We can keep doing it. Amen. Amen. So, is there anybody who go with me with a hundred dollars? Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Anybody who go with me for twenty-five dollars, fifty dollars? How about fifty dollars? Got fifty. Praise the Lord. Say amen. 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 We're just pushing a little bit today. Amen, because we, we got plans for Long Island. Amen? amen. The Bible says, Amen. Here's a few go. Here's hundred dollars. Praise God. Amen. 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 Praise God. We just need to, if you don't have cash or check, you can go to Give a Five at his praise temple. Amen. Oh, who has anybody? Who gave twenty five dollars? Anybody give twenty five today? Amen. Thank God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Whatever you can, if you can do that, we appreciate it. Uh, but you can give, text to give. You can do 516-604-3681. Just go to your messaging app, your SMS, and you can type that number, type give in that number at any time. And you can give. Then, praise the Lord in your hand. Give the five. Or you can go to the website. Amen. We'll, we'll introduce the website a little bit later. Amen. Praise God. We're going to uh, continue to press towards the mark. Amen. And don't you know that you can't be God given in church? No matter how hard you try. Amen. And we want to we want to we want to talk about good stewardship. The Lord has allowed us to get up this morning. The Lord has allowed us to come over the highways. The Lord has allowed us to be in, 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 in good health. If we're not in good health. We're still alive. How about that? We're still alive. That's because of the Lord's mercy. One of the scriptures that I tell the church quite often is of the Lord's mercies we're not consumed. Amen. His compassion fell on not grace is faithfulness. God is faithful. Who knows God is faithful today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just thank God for being able to have a place here where we can come and fellowship and be with our brothers and our sisters. Amen. Praise God. We're missing a few today, but back in about three weeks and hopefully to see everybody out today. Amen? At that time. But we just need your support. Whatever you give to the house of God, the Bible says amen, that he knows how to return some 30, some 60, some 100 votes. So, uh, so we have to learn how to put what I call put pressure on the word. Amen. 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 And, 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 and because God's word said it will not return back to him. Boy, That's right. it's not working. But it will accomplish wherein it is sent. Amen. And the Bible tells us that if we give, it shall be given unto us. Amen. Press down, Amen. shaking together, Amen. running over. He gonna get a man. Amen. The bless you. Amen. 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 I, my testimony is me and my wife. We had tens of thousands of dollars of debt. And the Lord told us to give. Amen. We gave. Come on, somebody. Amen. <laughs> I get a letter in the mail. S- student loans canceled. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. $28,000. Oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. He told us to give. The bank foreclosed on our house. Yeah. Uh, took our house. Sold our house to the people we were going to sell it to. Uh, mm-hmm. And you know a foreclosure stays on your credit for how many years? Seven, Seven years. years. It was that foreclosure. Then about 
18 months, my wife said, I want to buy a house. I said, honey, we got a foreclosure. Look, look at me. We got a foreclosure. <laughs> she said, no, we're going to find us a place to live. After about 18, 18, 20 months, we were moving into a brand new house. Picked out the carpet, picked out the brick, picked out the lot, picked out the color. Picked out the bathroom. Picked out the base. Oh, y'all look at me like that. I said, a brand new house. When a foreclosure.
say praise the Lord, everybody. So we don't get into the Word of God. Is that all right? Amen. The Bible says man cannot live by bread alone. Amen. Amen. Every word see the outcome of God. How many know the Lord is our help? Amen. Everybody know the Lord is our help today? Amen. We're going to go through the book of Deuteronomy today. Praise God. Amen. Can't nobody do like Jesus. Feel like running a little bit. Can't nobody do like Jesus. He said, God, why you running? Why you running? Because put running in my feet and clapping in my hands. Anybody else you put running in your feet and clapping in your hands? Hallelujah! Got the Holy Ghost. Everything on me was new. Y'all remember when you got the Holy Ghost? Hands were new. Everything is new. Everything was new. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is for you. Amen. But how do you know that the Lord is our help? Yes. Amen. Yes. We again solicit your prayers today. Amen. And we're going to read the scripture and then we're going to see what God has to say. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We can stand and honor God's word today. Amen. Uh, <clears throat> it says, when you have it, say amen. You can see it on the screen again. We, we're on, right? We're, we're, we're live, right? Praise God. We thank God for everybody with us in the virtual space. Amen. We just thank God for being here. And uh, after that, being saved. Amen. And also being able to be amongst one of the call to, to the church. So it says, Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by the Lord, the shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellence. And thy enemies shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high place. Father, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, God, for all you doing in our life. That's what you speak to our hearts today. Out of your word. God, you know God, help us. We'll make our pain. I'm telling us the pain of a ready writer to speak the words that they may be written in their hearts. No longer do you write your words on tablets of stone, but you've written them in the hearts. Yes, so we should be able to access upon a new time message. Bless everyone's under the sound of our voice. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say amen. 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 You can see the house of God. Amen. And we thank God, praise God, for the scripture today. Thank God, praise the Lord, for the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33. The book of Deuteronomy is a part of the first five books of the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Amen. Deuteronomy was penned by Moses. Yeah. Moses was educated in the halls of the Egyptians. Amen. He was educated uh, with the best education right. somebody could have got at that time. Amen. Yet he was called by God to do a work. Amen. Don't you know that your life is already set up to be called by God to do a work? Come on, somebody. Your, your, your life is already set up. Yes. Moses, Moses was set up. So Moses was set up from the time he was three months old. Yes. He got pushed into reeds that he may be seen by Pharaoh's daughter. Right. Yes. And then Pharaoh's daughter took him in as his own son. But then got his mama to raise him right. in Pharaoh's house. Yes. And that was all like a setup. Yes. That's a setup. Because God's plan was already orchestrated. Yes. And the point that I'm trying to get it right here now is that each one of you have a plan that God's already established. Yes. He says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Yes. Thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you to of end that I've already put in expectation. Right. That I already have to brought forth amen, in the corridors of history because he's the Alpha and Omega. Right. Where we're trying to get to, God's already there. Yeah. Right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Amen. And he, he is, he's brought an expectation amen, in our life. Here, these books and these words of Moses, these are words of Moses. These are words of Moses. Some of the last words of Moses. The last time Moses speaks is in Deuteronomy chapter 33. My Amen. My because in Deuteronomy chapter 34, that's when he leaves and goes to the mountaintop and God takes him. Yeah. But the last words that he is beginning to bless the tribes 
uh, of, of Israel as they got to get ready to go into the promised land. Yeah. Right. I'm here to let you know that God has a promised land for each and every one of us. Right. Amen. That we got to cross over that Jordan and receive what God has already ordained for us. Yeah. Yeah. Moses is writing, amen, to a tribe, I believe it's a tribe of Asa, and he is letting them know, praise God, that it's time, church, that in the midst of everything that was going on at this time, amen, it's time for you to lift up your emotions, praise the Lord, and be happy about what God is doing in your life. Right. Amen. When we look at our lives, amen, compare our lives to what's going on in the media, praise God, it seems like a very bleak and dismal situation. Praise God. Murder, strife, wickedness, evilness. Praise God. But when we look at God's word, God's word has called us, amen, to rejoice in the Lord. And Paul says, rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say, rejoice. How can I rejoice, amen, in a time like this that I live in? The reason why I can rejoice in a time right now that I live in is because my perspective is focused in the word of God and it's not focused in what man is saying. Isaiah says, whose report are you going to believe? I shall receive, I shall believe the report of of the Lord. What has the Lord's report said about me? Well, Paul, well, Peter picks up and says, I am a royal priesthood. I am, I am a peculiar people. I, I am a chosen generation. I am a, 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 a peculiar people, a chosen generation, a holy nation. And he says, my job is to show forth the praise of him that has brought me out of darkness uh, into this marvelous light. Uh, that anybody in the house of God today uh, that God has brought out of darkness uh, into the marvelous light of God. Uh, if you know that, we are a shadow of uh, the doubt. Uh, I dare you to put your hands together uh, and give God praise. Uh, because that is supposed to change our perspective about the life that we're living right now. Come on, somebody. Uh, give God a praise right there.
show up in your life, church. God is trying to help us understand, church, amen, that He is our help. He is our shield. He is the one that fights for us. He's the one, praise the Lord, in this post-truth generation we live in, praise God, God knows how to tell, turn the liars into liars and begin to tell the truth. Praise Him. They say we live in a post-truth uh, 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 environment, culture right now. Guess what? God's word is true. You see, if our word is forever settled in heaven, the word of God stays true. It's true right now. It was true when God spoke in it, and it's going to be true through eternity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Bible says in, in the last days, Paris times are going to come. They're going to keep on themselves teachers. Amen. Praise God. Preaching. Amen. And, amen. Things that they want to hear. Amen. And not what God has said. And that is what the Lord is trying to help us understand. We got to continue to say what God is saying. Praise the Lord. Amen. We have to understand. Praise the Lord. Amen. That, that God is our Father. Amen. God is our Father. Someone say God is my Father. God is my Father. First of all, in creation. The Bible says here, amen, that, 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 that but to us, there's but one God, and the Father whom all things, and we in Him, and one Lord Jesus, by whom all are all things, and we are by Him. Now, I want you to understand something today, that God, amen, is our Father in creation, and we have to, amen, I can cry and respect Him as Father, but, but anything that brings something forth is obligated, amen, to take care of it. Whether they take whether our natural fathers take care of us or not, they still have an obligation, amen, because they brought it forth. I'm here to let you know today, if you, amen, were fearfully and wonderfully made, which you were, praise God, God is obligated because of creation to take care of you and to help you in every situation. Whether you believe it or not, God called it for more shots. God wants us to understand, praise God, that some of us think, amen, God has left us. Sometimes people think God don't want nothing to do with us. Sometimes people think God has, has no problem, amen, because, amen, I'm not living the way I'm supposed to be living. But I hear, amen, the writer say, praise God, when I was polluted in my own blood, with no hope, and no help from God, God who's rich in mercy, hallelujah, lay his life down, that we might rise in the newness of life. I'm here to let you know today that God is obligated by creation to help you out in every situation. I want you to know, I want to turn around your thought process to those of you that might have been born and your father ran on the scene. I'm here to let you know that we serve a God that will stick with us. He said, I never leave you. I never forsake you. I never leave you by yourself. That's what I want you to understand. When my heart is overwhelmed, he will lead me to a rock that is higher than me. He's here to help us, church, and he's here to do it. Hallelujah. That we might become what he's called us to be. Hallelujah. What has he called me to be? He's called me to be born in him. I've already been born in his likeness and his image. Praise the Lord. So if I've been born in his likeness and his image, guess what? Praise God, I look just like that. Amen. 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 I'm still growing up to try to be like him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible speaks, Jesus speaks very clearly, as long as the son is in the house, praise God, he's the same as the father, though he is not ruler of nothing. But though he's already designated to take over all the business of the house once he becomes of age. I'm here to let us know, church, that some of us are still growing in the nurture and the admonition of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Huh? And just like a little child does. Uh, guess what? A little child does not just start off walking. Amen. They walk a little bit, then they fall down. Come on, somebody. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, praise God, they take off running and they, and they, they fall down. Huh? But after a while, what happens? Huh? They take off running huh? and they don't fall down huh? no more. Huh? I'm here to let you know, praise God, huh? that some of you huh, may have been walking with God and you, and you, and you, and you fell down. Huh? But what does God, what do the parents do? Huh? The parents say, oh, that's so cute. Huh? Once you get on back up huh? and try it again, huh? I'm here to let you know huh? that God huh? wants you to get up huh? and try it. Again. Hallelujah. If you're backed up from God, it's time to move forward in God. 
said that to engage with that business. And to his corporate praise. Be thankful unto him. And bless his name. How do I assure the presence of God? The Bible says for two or three are gathered together in the midst. He'll be in the midst. Praise God. He stepped down in the midst. Where when I get with my brother, amen, because the Bible says two is better than one. Amen. And when I put my sis, I want you to say, hey, brother, amen, what happens is I cannot create an atmosphere by myself. Come here. I want to show you something. Praise the Lord. Come here. And look, look, we're two, right? Two. This is atmosphere. And if I get three, guess what? I got to try to the situation going on. Even the cell tower is used to try to the situation to make sure your, your connection gets through. And what happens is when I pray, guess what? I create an atmosphere for God to dwell in. What he is saying, praise the Lord, is that if you praise me, you create an atmosphere just like it was in the Holy of Holies, where God would come in and step down in the midst of his people. But today, hallelujah, the Holy 
Will she get all your mind? Will she be helping in my body on sick situations, business, house, home, health, whatever it is that happiness deals with my physical and natural state. Joy is the spiritual gift. Happiness is what God's dealing with through your situation. So you might need God to deal with situations. This is crazy. You need God to help you with this situation. Get that on your mind. Get that on your mind. And as you get that on your mind, we will just take about 30 seconds. Church, let me remind you, he's obligated to help you because he's our father. I remember I wanted to be an Atari, I wanted to be a game system, and I want my dad to know 31 days from the time from Thanksgiving up to Christmas Eve, I said, the door in the door, I want to go. And he said, son, I got one, I, and I got that game system. He said, if, if he said, he said, if you would put another door on my door, you about to drove me crazy. But look, I went to my father. Oh, and I got what I wanted. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. The Bible says, if our natural father know how to give good gifts, how much more will our heavenly father give us things that we ask? So get what you need, God. There you go. Come on, get our thoughts. That's it. That's it. Bishop, you're ready to us with some boldness. And what I want you to do is, with boldness, with the praise of God, just open our mouths and bless Come on, open your mouth and bless you. Get on your mouth. Open your mouth and bless Come on, come on, come on. Open your mouth and bless you.
know, this used to tell us growing up that, you know, when nobody, when church was just full of saints and we had no visitors, we might have a uh, saints meeting. I'm here to let you know this is a saints meeting. Don't get me tell you, I think all of this is all I do with this, but church folks, we're back home, right? Guess what? You can act like you lost your life. I need somebody to get your place like you lost your life. This is the saints meeting. The saints won't meet. You got to pray for this. I don't want you to know I want you to say something here. I need about, I want to say, I need about 10 people to get up and get on the floor. And if you want to come on, you just give us some extra little hands. You know, you know.
Hallelujah, come on, come on. 
says that there's a time for refreshment. Hallelujah. So just because you got the Holy Ghost, don't mean that you may have not spoken tongues in a while. They may let the Lord something refresh you. Hallelujah. Glory, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory.